Extreme Int. Not my favorite team of the bunch. Let me just hop right in. Let's let's not even mess around because this might take a while. So, a lot of people are gigantic fans of Int Kid Buu. Like, like, I do understand why. You know, he hits very hard. His passive gives him a very high attack buff. Here's the issue with all of that. His links are just absolute fodder trash. The fact that they could not give any of these kid boos, Fear and Faith, Shocking Speed, just give him one. Even, I mean, shit, even Revival would have been something. But no, they are insistent that no kid boo will get any key links whatsoever. And, I mean, to be quite honest, it, it's a problem. It, it's a huge issue. Uh, makes team building for this uh, team uh, quite quite difficult. So, here's what we're going to do, right? Well, let me just quickly go over the squad at the start here. So, you know, I'm going to have a rotation of my Angel Golden Frieza with LR Bojack because they both do share revival. That's at least one key link. Um, my Angel Golden Frieza, he's okay. Uh, not really much in the potential system, but I did give him, you know, he's SA-10. Uh, I have Super Android 13, obviously, for the key changing. Uh, he could be very good. I was thinking about bringing Baby Trunks because the key issues just are a problem. But I was like, you know what? We'll, we'll bring Super Android 13. He's a good orb changer. Uh, I'm bringing Buhan specifically for the links with Kid Buu. Now, I have a few dupes in Buhan, but I've not given him any orbs because, again, I don't have any in or physical orbs to spare. The other types, I've got tons and tons of orbs to give out. But, you know, I, in and physical, not really so much. Uh, we have the 40% Scouter Vegeta, who I do have at SA-10. Uh, we obviously were bringing a friend, 100% Kid Buu. Uh, looks like he went... Yeah, okay. So he went 5 dodge, 15 crit. That's exactly the way I would have done it. So uh, I'm totally okay with what he's got for his uh, his splits there for the abilities. I brought Metal Cooler because obviously he does give uh, key and the 30% uh, attack. And then obviously we got LR Bojack, who is at SA-20, but I don't have any dupes or anything like that. So uh, let's go, let's go, let's let's just see how well we can do with this, uh, you know, extreme intelligence team, which a lot of people really love, but I'm not a fan of. A lot of uh, another thing too, a lot of people are really high on Buhan still, and I'm not really. Uh, Buhan, you know, the 3,000 you know health he gets per orb is just not that big of a deal at this you know stage of the game. And, you know, he's not even really going to be hitting th that hard either. Uh, only took 30,000 there. That's not bad. Uh, all right. So, now Buhan will be coming back on this rotation with Kid Buu. Uh, so, let's see how much damage Kid Buu will do right here. This, he, okay. I'm going to warn y'all right now. Kid Buu is about to hit very fucking hard because we have the 40% uh, support Vegeta. We have Metal Cooler who's giving 30%. This Kid Buu is 100%, and it's a type advantage. So, this could be a very high number. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 2.3. Yeah. Okay. So, here's the thing. A lot of people will say, oh, 2.3. My Super Saiyan 4 Goku does that all the time. It's like, well, I swear. I, I will always say this. People saw screenshots of Super Saiyan 4 Goku in, like, the Omega event. And have run with that, like, forever. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is obviously one of the hardest hitters in the game. No doubt about that. But uh, I would easily say he's overrated. Um, especially because I saw... Uh, we did get the uh, Ultra Super right there. Very good. Uh, I saw um, on a post talking about the top 10 hardest hitters of Dokkan. And uh, many people surprised that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not on the list. But it's not really that surprising when you consider... The fact that Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not on a category lead. He does not have a category at this point in time. So he's just not able to get that gigantic buff other units are. Uh, the one good thing is that, you know, having LR Bojack. LR Bojack is one of the better uh, LR tanks in the game. So he's not going to be taking a lot of damage whatsoever. Uh, Alright, so now. Kid Buu. We have him here ready to get a lot of links. Uh, so we can give... Uh, Buhan, that right there. So, one cool thing is with Kid Buu and also Buhan, we will be healing quite a bit. Do I need to use... You know what? 
just to be a little cautious, I'm actually going to pop an Icarus right here. Um, I probably did not need to do that, but we'll see. Also, the the <laughs> the field is looking very nice with uh, orbs right now. Oh, right now, I believe the friend kid boo. Wow, look at that attack stat. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, those links from Buhan make a big deal. How much is this going to do if he crits? Okay. All right. I, you, know, you know what? <clears throat> I, I'll rock with that. I'll rock with that. Uh, yeah, I think Kibu is my only unit on the team that can crit. My Kibu can crit as well, but I didn't really think there was much of a purpose in running double Kibu. Uh, because, you know, I'm not gonna... I don't have two Buhans, you know, to give him all of his attack links and shit like that. So, we'll put Bojack right there. So, ideally, this is how these rotations will go. Where we can get Bojack, his 18 key super, right there in the first slot. So he's going to give a 40% attack buff to Angel Golden Frieza in the second slot off of his 18 key super. Not to mention just the high amount of damage that this is going to do anyway. Almost a million, that's fine. Uh, I kind of do want to get a dupe for Bojack, but obviously if I'm going to pull an LR, I want it to be either LR Majin Vegeta or LR Broly. Uh, I'd love a pull like a dupe LR Goku Black so I could 100% him. Maybe like another dupe LR Trunks or LR Trunks and Goten or LR Gohan. LR Trunks and Goten, actually, they are so good. And they're very underrated. No one ever talks about how good they are. And I really want to like, hmm, maybe do that. Yeah, because we can activate Metamorphosis as well. Uh, I really want to get a dupe for Trunks and Goten. And kind of just, like, show, like, how beasty they can be. Like, if they were able to crit and shit, like, it would be just disgusting. I don't need to... No, we, we don't need to use any items. All right, so this this team is actually working pretty well. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm actually kind of liking the the formation of this team. With the friend Kid Buu, we do have an LR Bojack as leader. Um, because, you know, he's going to give the extra key. So... We're losing 20% to attack, HP, and defense by having Bojack as the leader, but we're getting that additional key, which is very good for a lot of these units. Uh, I, yeah, again, I'm, I'm very pleased with how this is going. Uh, we are going to have Gold and Frieza go first here, unfortunately, because I need all of these uh, intelligence orbs for Bojack. Uh, do I need to use an item? I'm tempted to, but... I mean, all of these units are pretty strong uh how much he will okay so he might do about a hundred no we're, we're fine we're fine because he'll do a hundred to a hundred and thirty thousand with a super but he's not going to be able to kill us yeah definitely not all right cool 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 especially if he supers lr bojack that's not going to hurt us that much but lr bojack his I, I still like i still don't know completely how his passive works like and, and when I, okay, when I say this, because people are, I'm going to get a million smartasses in the comments telling me how it works, but what I meant by that, guys, is we don't know the threshold. Ooh, the dodge. It, every battle, at least one dodge. I love it. We don't know the threshold right now as to, like, you know, what I'm, when I say threshold, I mean, like, what HP threshold to where, like, Bojack's attack, rate, like, lowers and his defense goes up. We don't really know, like, when those are activating, what the various uh, benchmarks are for that. So, you know, once we could know that, we'd know a lot more about, like, how good Bojack is. Um, hmm. All right, well, good thing we have a Metal Cool Arm rotation here. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll get all those intelligence orbs. Uh, we're gonna save those for Bojack. Yeah, we most definitely are. Should I? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> We're actually going to need to... I'm going to Ghost Usher right here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because Kid Buu and Buhan are not the defensive stalwarts that Angel, Golden Frieza, and LR Bojack are. So I'm not going to be able to just brute force Bardock in this spot. Uh, be gone! Do big damage, please. I, you know what? About a million. That That's 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 good. That's decent. That's, that's decent. He's... At 100%, Kid Buu becomes the unit that people think he is normally. But you, you do you do need to get him to 100% before Kid Buu is actually what people think Kid Buu is. If you guys get what I'm saying with that. Uh, he's... Uh, I don't want to call him bad, but I mean, he's certainly not one of like the top tier units in the game. I Actually, you know, I think that's a very good way to say it. 
He's not bad, but he's not one of the top tier units in the game either. No way. I, I cannot I cannot consider a unit with zero key links a top tier unit in the game. Um, I, honestly, I'm very disappointed in SDR Ultimate Gohan just with shocking speed. So, uh, obviously, you guys know how it feels about Intelligence Kid Buu. Angel Golden Frieza as well, by the way. Because unless you get um, you know, him linked up with other members of Frieza's race, uh, Angel Golden Frieza doesn't have a ton of key links either. He does have Revival, which, you know, like, with most of the units on the Revive Warrior category team, he does share, which is cool. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Hmm. I'm thinking we're gonna... Ooh, if we take damage, we'll get big bad bosses for Kid Buu, huh? So let me you, let me pop an Icarus then. That's a good idea. Uh, we'll give the greens to Buhan. Give him a lecture attack. And we'll be able to save these perps right here for Bojack Sama. Hey, okay. Oh, okay. So I think Bojack on his 18 key super next turn is probably going to finish us off. He's going to get a Dokkan attack. Finally, the Buu Kamehameha. That's beautiful, of course. That will lower um, attack and defense for Bardock. So that'll make uh, Kid Buu hit slightly harder. I don't know, maybe like an extra 5,000 or 10,000 damage on there, something like that. But wow, okay. 1.6 on the final stage of this fight. That's good. That's good. Okay, so when Kid Buu is 100%, I would say he, he does become very good. Very, no doubt about that. But again, <laughs> he's a 100% he's in the fucking dupe system, so I certainly would hope that he would be a beast at this point. Uh, I'm I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, my boy. All right, so yeah, Bojack, please. <laughs> or, I, Bardock. I, I, I meant to say, Bardock, please. You're not going to hurt Bojack like that. Oh, this is so much easier now that I'm not on an emulator. Oh, my goodness. The one problem I'm having with this, uh, the Note 8 I picked up is, I think it's, I bought a brand new cord. Like, the cord I just bought with the Note 8. Uh, that I'm able to connect an HDMI cable into uh, my computer and I you know I'm recording with OBS because a lot of people are always curious how like a lot of us Dokkan YouTubers and stuff record uh, I'm recording the Note 8 with an HDMI into OBS uh, also using an Elgato by the way um, but this cord the HDMI disconnects like if I move this at all the HDMI disconnects so I got to take that back and try and get like a better cord um because, uh, like, I, I did that race yesterday with Kabuki and LR David, and, like, my shit was disconnecting left and right. I was like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> All right, though, guys. Uh, start, yeah, I'll add Stardust with that 100% kid. But why, why not? You know, let me just go ahead and add him. But, all right, guys, thank you for watching another Team Dunn versus Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I will catch y'all later, motherfuckers. Yeah, bye.